Right, so uh, spooling, right, functions of the operating system, last one. Uh, make sure you've gone over your notes on what peripherals are and on memory management in terms of buffers. So uh, this video is going to be a quick one, all right, um, just so that you understand basically why the operating system makes use of spooling and what the spool queue is. So we got a problem here with speed mismatches when we're talking about the computer system because you've got the CPU over here on the left hand side, it's going to be working at a really high speed, okay? Following that, we've got um, other kind of peripherals over here and these kinds of devices, far slower than the CPU but still pretty fast, okay? And then you've got some peripherals that are just incredibly slow. And the CPU needs to be able to work with all these kinds of devices, or all these devices need to work with each other uh, when they're all working at different speeds. So when the CPU, for example, is using slow peripherals, it's going to send some messages or some, some data to one of those slow peripherals, and then it's going to be idle while that peripheral is doing its work. Um, it's a bit kind of a waste of CPU resources. Okay, so the whole point of spooling here is to kind of avoid this speed mismatch, and the way of doing that is to make use of a buffer. Okay, so we can. Um, the CPU can fill up a data, a buffer with data, and then leave the slow peripheral to make use of data in the buffer while the CPU then gets on with other jobs. And it's basically going to avoid wasting time with kind of multiple data transfer processes between loads of slow peripherals. So, all these jobs that can potentially get done but aren't getting done right now are stored in the queue on secondary storage okay we probably want to maintain some kind of chronological order on these jobs so the order in which they arrive is in which they're processed but each of these jobs require different sizes of storage because they require different storage sizes we're not going to be using an array we're using a queue because we want to maintain that order okay so spooling basically is a process that's going to be is set up to manage a speed mismatch between fast CPUs and slow peripherals and it allows us to make use of the system resources as efficiently as possible okay so in the long run jobs are getting processed quicker the spool queue itself stores jobs randomly on the secondary storage somewhere okay and it uses a queue to preserve the order uh, the spool queue itself only has a references to the memory location where the actual data for the jobs is stored Okay, uh, spool queue does not contain the job itself, okay, or the data for the job. And then another advantage of the spool queue actually is that it can allow for priority bumps as well. All right, so you should basically know what spooling is and why spooling is used to avoid speed mismatches.